Hello my friends, yes, Mad Max again. Today I want to show you something I got to improve my videos. Um, you all do not like shaky videos or something like that. So I bought myself a Shiyun Smooth Q um, a gimbal to stabilize my videos. Hopefully they will improve uh, at least in the image quality. Um, I got this from Gearbest for around 100 bucks. Uh, it comes with a nice box. It has an additional strip at the belt so you can, uh, you see, didn't unpack it before. There's a strip so you can use on that nice bag to clamp it on and carry it with you. Of course there's an, uh, a USB charging cable in a flat design and user manual. And within that box you have the gimbal itself. You see there is uh, it's the exact form of the gimbal. So if you put it in and carry it, it uh, I'm quite sure it's very well protected. So let's have a look. I played a little bit before with it. Uh, there is a software you can use on the phone to have some image tracking and you can use some of the buttons to take pictures or start the video. You can um, use for zooming but that's not very nice. The gimbal itself has three axes. A nice thing from this smooth cue is that there's a 360, there's a free turning on this direction, and there is, of course, a limit on the other directions. When you, it's very well built, it has a, a, a quite good um, runtime, I think they, say about eight hours or something you can also use it as an as a usb plug you can use it as a uh, power bar to power with a short cable up to your mobile phone when taking long videos so you share the energy in here there is an uh, an on off switch which acts also uh, with the software for taking the pictures, a mode switch for the different modes, the zooming button and a thumb wheel for tilting up and down, left and right, and the charging port. This handle is made of some plastic, does not feel very cheap, but it, it, it looks sturdy, but it's uh, slippery a bit, don't know. But I assume one uh, will not use that in the rain. Uh, the other the, the other joints are quite nice if it feels heavy. And I think that's quite good quality. And I've read some reviews before in the internet and they all are, they do like it. So I have my old mobile phone. Oops. Yeah. Now it's a broken old mobile phone. Um, I can put it in. Whoops. Don't mind the new spider web design. Um, there is an adjusting knob for the weight. And the one thing you should do is to slide it left and right to get it in a somehow balanced state. Fix the screw, you see, it's now it's balanced by itself. Uh, be aware when you have the and this direction from your view, point of view that uh, there's. Uh, looking to the, from your view to the right side, you can read SmooseQ upside down 
you can read here also. Then push and hold the power button. And it works. You can see it does stabilize. It starts in, mo in mode one. If you turn it here, you can go to left and right, go up and down with the thumb. Hit mode once, then it's in uh, some, it's locked every direction. So you have to go left and right with the thumb, uh, up and down, for, it's the same. Then you have um, double click for a cinematic mode, so you can go up and down with the handle. This one is just doing a, a tilting, left and right. Up and down is now deactivated, so you go look up, you look down, to the left, to the right. One click is double click again to the standard mode. And there is an additional um, selfie mode with three clicks. It does a 180 degrees turn and you can do some selfie shots if you like and you can run and it's it's quite nice so back to the standard um, yeah just wanted to show you I hope it, I will do some nice new videos for you can can show you some things and hopefully it will increase and I do not break many more things like old mobile phones Switch and hold to turn it off. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.